Hello fellow crafters and welcome back to Max DM Crafting. I liked this project from the start. This is the classic example of material recycling at maximum efficiency. I needed the throne, a chair of power, an epic monument worthy of the king of an underground kingdom, worthy of a dwarf lord. The final room of one of my adventures was to showcase all the beauty and power of the Dwarven civilization. In addition to the elements we have created together here on my channel, I needed the final piece, something that made it clear that finally we are in the presence of the most important character in the entire dungeon. A throne that found its place within such a complex set had to have some exceptional characteristics. The image I had in my mind was quite clear, but the way I would made it was decidedly more hazy. The dimensions of the piece, however, were already well defined. The throne should have occupied the space of a 3x3 tile, not an inch less, nor an inch more. Using various templates, I started to cut out the various parts, the seat, the backrest, the two armrests. Like a dwarf sculptor, I began to shape the various components, smoothing corners, redefining shapes and finally decorating the entire throne in bas relief. I bought these Dwarven runes from Grinstaff Ward. They are really fantastic, even if I have shown total clumsiness and inexperience in adding them to the piece. Somehow I made it, and I must admit that they really made a difference from an aesthetic point of view. Now another big touch, I have recovered these leftover pieces to give the throne a very unique look. As I see it, this piece would look great in any of the dungeons in Skyrim. It is not essential to have the pieces of a dragon, pieces of miniatures, weapons, other creatures could also have served the purpose. The point is to let the imagination take its course and then follow it without fear. The base of my throne will have to be a tile of 3 inches by 3 inches. I need to increase the weight, so I decide to clone one of my Dwarven tiles. Look on my channel for the numerous tutorials on how to create and clone pieces like this in resin.
The resin must be processed when it is still soft, not completely hardened. I decided to change the order of the individual tiles to maximize the decorations visible on the floor. The final shape is not decided a priori, but I adjusted it as the piece grew in my hands. The glue I'm using here is B7000 clear glue, a definitely not cheap glue, but capable of welding metal to XPS foam without melting it. Coloring this piece was so much fun. After I covered it with primer and Mod Podge, I devoted myself to the base paint. I didn't want a quick and banal painting to detract from the beauty of this piece, so I applied myself to the best, without neglecting any detail. Incredible how a simple flocking can enhance the piece. It can also be used to cover inaccurate details or small mistakes made during assembly or painting. An epic piece.
Thanks for watching this video guys, share, like and subscribe and till next time, happy crafting!